Hey guys, Josh here. I hope you're all very well. I am recording this for the second time because the first time was around 10 minutes and I don't have a lot to show. So I'm going to try and speedy speedy get through it nice and easy. So let's start with the second car boot stuff because that's what I finished with on the last video. I picked up a vintage ice cream scoop. This one is sort of mechanical. It has a little cog here. You push that, it does the little scoop. 50p. No idea if it's worth anything, but I went on to Etsy the other day. And Etsy is a weird, weird place. Vintage Kitchenalia items can sell for over £10 each. Um, so yeah, no idea if this has any value. I haven't looked it up. If not, I'm probably going to keep it because I quite like vintage kitchen things myself. So yeah, 50p. At the second car boot, I also got a, a solar Casio scientific calculator. I saw one of these the other day, a non-solar one for 4 because it was slightly damaged. This one is blue, which I think is quite a, one of the unique colours. It's scientific, it's back to school season coming up. Great time to sell these. 50p into about seven pound maybe. Now, ooh, I put it all on the floor out of the way, so I have to grab it. Right, <laughs> I got these little cuties. Collection of free hand-painted fine art um, fine art, sorry, <laughs> studio art pottery. I did some Google searching uh, in the last clip I did. Yeah, I believe they're vintage, hand painted. Look, three of them, they're a pound for free. £9.99 I'm gonna try and get for them. And then I also got for 50p, this adorable, adorable thing. This is a vintage ring holder. It's uh, silver plated, it's very heavy. Uh, there's one on eBay at the moment in this condition for about four ninety nine. Now fifty p into four ninety nine is fine. However, polished up, it's going for about the twelve pound mark. So, uh, probably try and polish it or get it looking a little bit nicer than that. So yeah, fifty p into let's say seven. The best buy of the day and literally one of my only buys of the day. Oh my god, I took a huge risk buying a great big thing of uh, Yu Gi Oh cards. Um, I had to throw out about a hundred fake cards. Literally, I could have brought it in, it could have all been fake, and that would have been a waste of five pounds. That's how much I spent. But literally, I have got, I believe it's about 280 odd, uh, first edition, 19, 1996 Yu Gi Oh cards. This is my favorite card. I had him when I was younger. This takes me back. <laughs> like, this is. is I used to play with a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards, so yeah. Uh, Profit-wise, 100 to 200 pounds profit. But there is a lot of work involved here. It's going to require me quickly looking up every single card, making sure it is real, because some of the fakes are very good these days. Um, so yeah, there's like trap cards, there's normal cards, there's spell cards, there's literally everything here. Um, and yeah, the fakes, I'm probably just going to go put them in the bin. Some of the fakes are very bad. Now, Carla says she didn't realise how to tell fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I expect some of you won't as well. So let's just grab some of these. And do ooh, that. So, here are our Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's all a bit glary. So, you can just about tell. This one is obviously fake because it's orange. So that can go. That's fake. This one is obviously orange, so that can go. Don't know if it focused too well. It's very, very bright all of a sudden. Yeah, this one is orange, so that can go. Now, this is where it gets tricky. This is real, because if you have a little look, it's like a dark brownie colour. This one is also real. It's like a dark browny colour. Slightly different shade to that one. Ever so slightly. It's a bit lighter. And then this one is too light. If you look at the sort of the colour contrast, it goes sort of um, normal, slightly lighter, really light. But the easiest way to tell is look at the border difference on that. If I do that. Thin border, thin border, huge, great big, chunky border. Same at the top. Thin border, mediumish border, huge, great big, chunky border. This is a fake card, okay? It's too bright. The back is too is too sort of uh, like leather tan color. The borders are too thick, and additionally, it's very sandpapery. It's really not smooth. It's very rough. 
these fake card. They're very glossy. They're very slippery. The real cards should be matte, apart from ones like this, which are slightly hollow. They should be matte and they should be very smooth. Okay, they should not be rough, gritty, or the quality of them is different as well. That feels like a good quality. This is just really cheap, tacky card. So that's the way to tell. There are a few other ways. Uh, there's a good few good web good uh, a few good websites to check as well. But that was a really good buy. 100 to 200 pound profit there that's gonna keep me busy now because i was complaining to carla that i had nothing to list i've now got 200 and something uh, yugo cards to get through so that keep me busy next week so that was about it i don't know how much to spend uh one pound two pound two pound fifty five seven pound fifty with two pounds to get in seven eight nine pound fifty let's say ten ten pounds spent we're looking at i say a hundred hundred and five 110, £115 return. So I'm not complaining about that at all. No clothing today. I didn't really see anything I would pick up. But yeah, that's pretty good. And I got there so late. I'm surprised the Yugo cards were still there. I thought a dealer would have got them by now. The by now, by then. But I went kind of at the end to get them before I left. So yeah, really happy with that. I'm going to go because it's now 6 minutes 25. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all soon.